You'll want to prepare yourselves, people. Snakes will be out to play this summer. Last week, we showed you all the slithery serpents that are infesting one southeast Austin neighborhood. Texas is home to about 115 species of snakes and nearly 2,000 people are bitten by venomous snakes each year in the new in the US. So here with some tips on how to protect yourself is Dr. Neha Sharma with Sound Physicians. Good morning to you. Good morning. So when we talk about avoiding preventing snake bites, mm -hmm. what should you do? First, educate yourself. There mm. are four poisonous rattlesnakes in Texas. Rattlesnake, well, four poisonous snakes in Texas. One is rattlesnake, copperhead, cotton mouth, and coral snake. So know what they look like. You know, the rattlesnakes will have the rattler that goes off, makes a sound, but some are losing that capability. So educate yourself, mm -hmm. be aware of your surroundings, be mindful. They usually hide under brush and pile of leaves, so have a stick before you approach that area. If you are working outside, wear boots, thick boots, gloves, and protect yourself. Right, that is some definitely some good, good advice there. And so if someone does get bit by a snake, mm -hmm. what should you do? What are the important things to do if you get bit? Number one, call 911 definitely seek medical care ASAP. Then stay calm, re remove all restrictive clothing that you're wearing, try to identify the species only if feasible, and immobilize the injured part. Okay, and so when you say restrictive clothing, like what might someone have on that is that they need to take off? If you have shoes on that are tied, take them off. Watch, rings, if you are bitten in the upper extremity, take that off. If your shirt's tight or pants are tight, take them off. Okay, got that. And so what, because a, a lot of things is, people think about the anti-venom and it's yeah. fine, you'll just go get a, you know, some anti-venom and you'll mm -hmm. be fine, but mm -hmm. you have to get it within a certain amount of time, right? Yes, you do. Ideally within an hour, but within six hours is recommended. It's the most effective. So seek medical care ASAP. What if you get bit and you're, you're, it's not one of these particular, one of the four that you mentioned, mm -hmm. the poisonous, what happens then or what should you do then? So the first, always assume it's venomous. Mm. Um, but if it is venomous, you'll start to see signs, and you know that's when a physician can identify it. But the signs are redness and swelling around the bite area. There are two fangs. You could get nausea, vomiting, blurry vision, difficulty breathing, lots of swelling. Okay, so definitely be on the lookout for those. Definitely. Well, Dr. Sharma, we thank you so much for being here with us this morning and giving us this education on those snakes. Thank you.